Hello and welcome to another episode of The Word for Kids. I'm Jamie. And I'm Josh. And we're guiding you through the book of Matthew in a series of 20 episodes. Last time, we learned about two more parables Jesus told the disciples. The first is the parable of the lost sheep. If a man owns a hundred sheep and one wanders away, he leaves the 99 to find the one and rejoices greatly when he does, just like God our Father comes for us when we wander away from him. The second parable was called the unmerciful servant. A master called in a servant who owed him 10,000 bags of gold, which he could not afford to pay back. When the master issued the punishment, the servant begged the master to be patient with him, and the master ended up canceling his debt altogether. But when that same servant found a fellow servant who owed him 100 silver coins, he grabbed him, choked him, and demanded repayment. The man begged for the servant to be patient, but the first servant showed no mercy and sent the man to jail. When the master found out about this, he had the first servant brought back into him. I canceled your debt. Shouldn't you have mercy on your fellow servant? And the master had that first servant thrown into jail. Jesus said that God the Father will treat us as the master in the story treated the servant. He has forgiven us all our sins and expects us, in turn, to forgive others. People brought their children to Jesus to touch them and pray for them. Even though the disciples didn't approve, Jesus called for the children to come to him. Just then, a man came to Jesus asking how to gain eternal life. Jesus told him to follow the commandments, which the man said he did, but asked what else he should do. Jesus told him then to sell everything he had, give the money to the poor, and then come and follow him. The man went away sad because he had a lot of money. And Jesus said, it's difficult for the rich people to enter the kingdom of heaven, but with God, all things are possible. He told the disciples who had left everything to follow Jesus about their great reward in heaven, as well as the reward for those who give up everything to follow him. And that's where we left off last time. Are you ready for today's adventure? Let's go. As Jesus and his disciples approached Jerusalem and came to Bethpage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and you will find a donkey tied there with her colt by her. A colt is a baby donkey. Jesus said, Untie them, bring them to me, and if anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them, and he will send them right away. This took place to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet, See, your king comes to you, gentle and riding on a donkey and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. So the disciples went and did what Jesus had told them to do. They brought the donkey and the colt and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? The crowds answered, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. We still celebrate this big event today, the week before Easter. We call it Palm Sunday. Jesus' entry into Jerusalem was a celebration meant for a king. And we know Jesus really is the king of kings. But he chose a colt of a donkey for his transportation into the city, which showed his great humility and also symbolized peace. Other kings may have come in on a big, powerful animal or with chariots, royal guards, with big weapons and a great demonstration of power. Jesus calmly and gently came riding on a donkey. We've been talking about the many prophecies that were fulfilled in Jesus coming, and this was another one. The things the people were chanting and shouting were also things that would be repeated during their big Jewish festivals, but the people still didn't really understand who Jesus was. Jesus entered the temple courts and drove out all who were buying and selling there. 
He overturned the tables and the money changers and the benches of those selling doves. He said to them, It is written, My house will be called a house of prayer, but you are making it a den of robbers. It's commonly believed that Jesus was upset because the people selling sacrifices to those going in were charging way more than they should, and Jesus found this disrespectful to God's house. That's probably true as well, but Jesus was also angry that the people outside the temple seemed to recognize his kingship, and those who had gone into the temple were rejecting him and hiding in the temple, just as a robber would find a safe place to run away and hide. The blind and the lame came to him, and he healed them. But when the chief priests and the teachers of the law saw the wonderful things he did and the children shouting in the temple courts, Hosanna to the son of David, they were very angry. Do you hear what these children are saying? They asked him. Yes, he replied. Have you never read from the lips of children and infants? You, Lord, have called forth your praise. And he left them and went to Bethany. Sometime later, the Pharisees got together. One of them was an expert in the law and tested Jesus with this question. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and prophets hang on these two commandments. And that is where our story ends for today. It's time for the verse to remember. Today's verses are Matthew 22, 37 through 39. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 22, 37 through 39. Let's pause right there for today's word of the day. Hello, it's time for another word of the day. Today's word is commandment. A commandment is a special law given by God to tell people how to live. Commandment. Something that really stuck out to me was this last part here and our memory verse where all the other laws really aren't even necessary if you're truly loving God with all your heart and loving other people like you should. And um, so that's a big challenge for us today is to continue to love our God with everything that's in us and to love each other just as if we were loving ourselves. Jamie, I think it's super cool when we get to learn why we do what we do. What I mean by that is Palm Sunday is a holiday that we celebrate in church every year. And so I think it's really neat to read through the book of Matthew and read about the very first Palm Sunday and to read about all the people who were calling Jesus their king. I mean, they literally took off their coats and laid them on the ground because Jesus was so worthy of it. It really is amazing how many different things we can learn from these chapters and how important it is to be reading the Bible. That's true. All right. Well, that's all we have for this episode. We're looking forward to seeing you again soon for another episode of The Word for Kids.